Hello everyone, I'm Alan Amistvalu. I'm an MSc student at Weizmann Institute of Science at Israel. Today, I'm presenting a work done together with my MSc instructor, Professor Yanina Elda. We introduce a method called Sparse Convolutional Beamforming Algorithm, an algorithm that paves the way towards wireless ultrasound imaging. Ultrasound imaging is one of the most accessible medical imaging methods, and it offers a wide range of applications. Some of them are listed here. Its main advantage is that it gives a variety of real-time capabilities. Yet, however, ultrasound imaging is not the method of choice in some of the cases when it comes to real life. Among the challenges that make ultrasound the less favorite choice when picking imaging method, we can find the size and the mobility of the system, which requires big and strong computers for imaging, <coughs> as well as the big dependency on clinician with non-flexible remote processing. In addition, it's difficult to produce good images with high resolution and good image contrast. Therefore, our vision is to a digital probe with over Wi-Fi channel data that will make ultrasound imaging much more preferred when, come, when, when coming to real life. Our idea is to sample a claw rate within the probe and transmit the data over Wi-Fi to another platform like a tablet, smartphone, <coughs> a remote computer, and there the image is recovered on the platform based on advanced signal processing algorithms that we will go over shortly. However, the main challenge that we encounter when trying to fulfill this vision is high sampling rate and huge amount of data. We reduce the sampling rate at each element as well as the number of probes receiving elements. And based on the physics of ultrasound imaging and advanced signal processing, we result in data reduction of two orders of, of magnitude as well as size reduction of the probe. In this short presentation, we'll go over delay and sum first, then we'll present the reduction in time and in space. Finally, we'll show the combination and the short demo. Ultrasound imaging is performed by transmitting a pulse to the tissue. Echoes are then received from scattering elements in the tissue with time delays corresponding to their depth. The final image is then formed line by line, based on the direction and the amplitude of, of the scatterers. The most common method used to perform ultrasound imaging is delay and sum, where an array of transducers is used, is used resulting in better NS, SNR and image resolution after applying appropriate time shifts to the received signal. However, this method requires high sampling rate and many receiving elements, which results in huge amount of data and makes ultrasound over Wi-Fi almost impossible. Here we can see the scheme where pulse is transmitted to the tissue and the echoes are received uh, at each channel are sampled at high rate, which is typically eight to 10 times higher than the Nyquist rate of the signal. After sampling the signal, the lens sum is applied digitally, resulting in the beamform signal. We would like to reduce the sampling rate and reduce the size of the data. We'll show two methods to reduce the size of the data and then the combination of the two. First, based on previous works, we know that the beamform signal is actually a stream of L-known pulses and it can be recovered uh, from twice the number of pulses meaning that we need two L measurements. In addition, we know that the signal, which has one main band of energy in the frequency domain, and the, this band of energy is corresponding to this of the known pulse. Based on that, we would like to design a scheme that uses an analog filter and takes only the coefficients of interest. After filtering the signal, it, uh, we sample it at low rate corresponding to the Nyquist rate 
after, fil after filtering with an analog filter. And then after sampling, we would like to recover the beamform signal. But here we encounter another problem. <clears throat> the problem is how can we perform beamforming without interpolation on the subsample data? How can we even recover the signal from its uh, subsampling? <clears throat> the answer is that we do it in the frequency domain. Based on the subsample, the frequent, uh, frequency coefficients, uh, delay is applied in frequency using a fast decaying distortion function. This is based on the stream <clears throat> mentioned before. The beam, the beamform signal, which is a stream of pulses, can be recovered from small number of coefficients, which results in, in low sampling rate of the signal at each element. Here we see that phi m, which are the Fourier coefficients of the signal at each element, are multiplied by q, which is the distortion function that applies the delay on the signal. After summation, we result in the Fourier coefficients of the beamform signal. Another method <coughs> for image improvement while reducing data size is choo choosing different array for imaging. As we know, the image quality is determined by the beam pattern's main lobe and the side lobe's amplitude. Cohen and Eldar introduced convolutional beamforming algorithm, which produces better image and, uh, with less acquiring elements. In traditional uh, delay and sum, uh, delayed signals at each element are summed, and then we result in the beamform signal. In COBA, however, before summing the delayed signals, <coughs> convolution over the spatial dimension is applied, resulting in effective beam pattern with better resolution and contrast, as we can see here. <coughs> the idea behind COBA is the idea of product arrays. When applying COBA on the delayed signals, it's like, a, it's like applying delay and sum on the sum core array of the original array, which is as twice as B. Here, for example, we can see the array of minus eight to eight, which is effectively after COBA, after the convolution over the array, minus 16 to 16. We can further reduce the data size based on the idea of uh, sum core arrays by choosing a array which is in the order of square root of the original full uh, array. And we result in image quality which is as good as the lens. Here, for example, we choose this sparse array. And effectively, we result in a full array of minus seven to seven. Another substantial reduction is achieved by using the same algorithm based on fractal array design. Fractal array is designed recurs recursively according to the generator array and the fractal order. This results in replicas of the generator array, as we can see, for example, this one, which results in a full array and the same imaging uh, image quality as the one with the lens. The main contribution of our work is, a, is the method that combines the best of both methods, spatial reduction of low rate, rate sample data. The data is subsampled at a sparse set of uh, array elements. We acquire the non-delayed signals, let's see, say uh, phi m, and compute their Fourier transform. Based on the low rate sampling screen uh, we introduced earlier, we then apply a delay using the distortion function q and result in phi hat, which is the delayed version of the signal at each element. We then go back to time domain and we plug it into the COBA algorithm, which results in beamform signal from only sparse set of array elements, each sampled at low weight. We evaluated our methods on in vivo data acquired by both GE machine, GE ultrasound machine, and Verasonics machine. We'll show uh, cardiac data and kidney data. Here, for example, we can see this cardiac image acquired by the GE machine using delay and sum versus frequency domain convolutional beamforming. We result in 24 times less data 
for the same image resolution and contrast. Further reduction can be achieved when combined compressed sensing as well as fractal array, and we result in a huge reduction of 132 times less data used for image, which is better than the original delay and sum image. Lastly, we can see here an image of a kidney acquired by the Verasonics um, ultrasound machine, and we result in, a, in an image which is better with 37 less uh, data used. Now, let's see a show there. Hello, everybody. I would like to show you here a demonstration of a normal heart. What we can see here is an echocardiography of the subject's heart. We can see a four chamber view in which we can see right now the left ventricle, the right ventricle, the left atrium, and the right atrium. We can see the different structures of the heart. We can see the mitral valve and the tricuspid valve. We can see the nice motion of the leaflets. We can see that actually there is good ventricular function and there is no pericardial effusion. The picture itself is very good, very crisp, and we can demonstrate very nicely uh, this subject. Now, to conclude, we show that in contrary to nowadays ultrasound machines that require huge amount of data, we paved the way towards ultrasound imaging over Wi-Fi, thanks to first <coughs> low sampling rate and much less acquiring array elements using our algorithm, frequency domain convolutional info. And by that way, wireless ultrasound probe at low cost, providing, uh, providing access to channel data is practical. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Wishing you all good health. Thanks you. Thank you once more. Bye bye.